All right, using description and tags in YouTube. So this is the meta information about your video. Anytime we have this meta information, people feel like there must be a silver bullet, something I can do here that's gonna give me the edge over the competition. And there are tools out there that you can use to sniff the tags that others have put in their videos. And so there are a lot of people right now teaching YouTube courses that teach you to go to other people's videos who are similar that you want to, to rank as a related video for, and then look through their tags and then use those exact same tags on there. So the tags are the, the meta keywords. They will show up in an HTML editor when you look at the public facing page, uh, the video page. Now, the problem with this strategy and the reason we wouldn't encourage you to do that is YouTube isn't using your tags to determine what your video is about, uh, at least not in the sense that you think. So we've heard a number of YouTube engineers say this, that really tags are there to understand when you've said something and maybe the computer's misunderstanding it. And so a tag can help to confirm what the video is about. It's not as if, oh, you missed the tag baking in this. And so YouTube can't figure out that this video called how to bake bread is about baking. YouTube can figure it out. You've talked about baking, you're talking about temperatures, you're talking about bread, you're talking about ovens in the video. YouTube knows this video is about baking. It doesn't need the tag to do that. And so what are they there for? It's mostly to, if again, to, uh, to correct any misunderstandings in the text. And so if I am saying razor in my video a lot, I'm talking about razor, well, they may think that I'm talking about a razor for my face because I need to shave. Um, but actually this video was about razor like a Polaris razor. Um, and so that's spelled R-Z-R. -R. And so in the, in the actual script of the video, it should be R-Z-R, -R, not R-A-Z-O-R. And so that's a, an, an instance where they could use the meta tag that, you have in, that you've entered there to better understand what it is you're saying. And so do you need to fill out the meta tags? No, not really. If you skip this, tech, this step, your video is probably gonna do just as well as if you didn't. Uh, your channel is probably gonna do just as fine if you never even filled these things out. But it is a best practice to just, when you upload a video, just put in some tags for five, six things that you that are in the video to confirm again to YouTube the genre and the words that you're using in that video. So that's the tags. Now what about the meta description? Most YouTubers are really just using the, <laughs> excuse me, most YouTubers are really just using this as a place to stash their affiliate links, links to their merch, all their stuff. It's just that's where you put all your spam. And that's actually just fine. We've heard a number of YouTube engineers um, mention that the it is important though that we do have some text explaining the video, especially because that text may be used on search uh, as, your, as your meta description there it's important to have some text. So what I would recommend is one short paragraph, the very first short, par short paragraph of your description of the video should be something that's describing the video just like you would write a meta, meta description for a blog post. Um, and I would recommend that that doesn't start with in this video uh, because that's what it is, right? Like that's what, it's the description of a video. We already know it's what's in this video. And so just say what happens. Can-Am and Polaris both make a great side-by-side, -side, so I compared them, the 2020 versions of each of them. Yeah, you know, there we go. And then we'll, we're gonna have a few other sentences there. So two to three sentences at the very start that is a good meta description. And then if you wanna have some copied and pasted, your affiliate links, all your stuff down below, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not gonna hurt anything, that's perfectly fine. So that is descriptions and tags for your videos. Don't obsess about this, just get it done, focus on the main content of the video, but it is important to have some of this information in there.